Hey guys, welcome back. Today I would like to share you the top feature from iPad OS 15. Um, there are many big changes on iPad OS 15, and now on my iPad 8, I have updated into iPad OS 15 Beta 1. And now let's see the new changes. Finally, for the first time, Apple included app library into the iPad. And if I try to swipe all the way to the left, you can see app library pop up. And uh, from here, um, if you don't want to uh, swipe all the way here, you can also access to app library from anywhere. Um, let's say if I go into the app store, I can just swipe up like that. And you can see app library always stay on the dock. And I can just go ahead and select it. The next big feature is multitasking. Um, if I go ahead and go into the app here, and now you're gonna see on the top, you're gonna find three dawn. And if you tap on it, you're gonna see uh, three options right there. On the right button is a slide overview uh, where you can run app on the other app. And the middle one is split screen uh, where you can run app side by side. And now let me show you a slide overview first. And if I tap on it, um, it is going to ask me to select the other app. Uh, for example, I can go to map. And now I have node on the top of map, just like that. Now, if you want to do split screen, just go ahead and tap on the three dot one more time. And then select on the middle one. And then it asks you to select the app. For example, I can go to void uh, memos. And now we have uh, app side by side. And for example, if you want to change the app, just go ahead and pull down from the top. And now uh, you should be able to select the other. Like I can just go ahead and go into Safari. And it works the same way on the right side. Just pull down and then select app. In addition to multitasking, uh, now on apps feature, um, you should be able to create split screen on um, app switcher and just go ahead and hold on the app and then you can just uh, slide on the top of the other and then you can see it create split screen and if I go ahead here uh, we have split screen next is the widget for the first time Apple included a widget on the iPad uh, usually it is supposed to be on the left side but now um, you should be able to place the widget on the home screen now from my home screen I can just go ahead and hold uh, click on the plus button on the top left and then we have um, a ton of widgets available here including the app store clock weather or calendar stuff like that and I can just go ahead and add here so now I can also place the widget on my uh, on my iPad. We also have a new feature called Quick Note on iPad OS 15. But unfortunately, I cannot show you because I don't have an uh, Apple Pencil. Um, this feature is required an Apple Pencil if you go ahead and select on setting here. And you can see uh, you can also customize the right corner swipe. So this one uh, does work um, if you use your Apple Pencil and just um, swipe from here, like from the corner. But for me, if I use uh, my finger, it doesn't work. It does require an Apple Pencil. And then uh, on the left side, you have like the feature like a screenshot. More feature is in photo and camera. It is called Light Take. Uh, what it does, uh, basically, if you take a photo that contains text or character, basically, you can uh, select the text from the photo itself. And then uh, you should be able to quickly translate or copy it or copy it into like Note or the other place stuff like that you can see uh, we have the button pop up and if i hit on translate um, it is going to use the translate app and then uh, you can select the language that you want to translate to and it is very awesome and very cool uh, apple uh, include a ton of feature on facetime uh, where you can have like a uh, void isolation which means it is going to eliminate the background noise while you are facetime with your friend or with your family it is a very cool feature and one more thing is uh, you can watch movie together on facetime you can share you can share what you like on facetime it is um, i feel like apple make uh, facetime uh, similar to zoom app if you have been using zoom uh, you can feel it is the same way and including uh, the new feature on map as well apple uh, redesigned the map and uh, you can see now uh, you gonna notice uh, we have the blue here uh, for the previous version there is no uh, it isn't like that and apple include a new feature where you can view the building but it is um, limit to the country or to the city i think it is only work well in united states and um, another feature here is um, in safari um, if you go ahead and go into safari you can see we have the new tab on safari 
and um, it is a new design and we have uh, the sidebar here if you tap on the sidebar it is pop up just like that in addition to Safari Apple also includes Safari extension in iPad OS 15 and now if I go ahead and go into setting and now um, if you uh, scroll down here on Safari you will find um, extension you have the button that you can download uh, extension if I click on here and here is um, a ton of uh, Safari extension and you can try it out and we will make uh, another video for how you can get a Safari extension to work on Safari and stuff like that one last thing is a magnifier um, I don't know why Apple include this app on uh, the home screen of iPad OS uh, usually it used to be in setting so if you go ahead and go into setting and accessibility and then if you go into accessibility shortcut you will find magnifier where you can triple click on the home button to quickly um, go into magnifier but now on iPad OS 15 uh, you can just go ahead and access from your home screen and it is basically um, allow you to like it work when you like read the text and you can also zoom take a screenshot and pause and then you can uh, just view what you want to read stuff like that um, it is as simple as that and you can customize the color as well uh, thanks for watching if i find any uh, new hidden feature on ipad OS 15 i will make a full video about it thanks for watching then i will see you guys in the next one